sixth graders. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Lucas and I are here. We're gonna mm -hmm. learn a teeny itty bitty about um, Greek columns. Um, I know that uh, at least in Immaculate, Mrs. Hegg's class, you guys are learning about um, ancient civilizations. Um, and I think you're in uh, the area of Greece. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna look at these Greek columns, which I mean, if you look just around in your town, you'll probably find at least one building, maybe the courthouse or something like that, that are using those Greek columns. Uh, banks, they're all, they're all over. Um, uh, Greek architecture was extremely influential and it still is today. Anyway, um, so they had three, three basic columns. You can see here, I'm gonna hold it up quite close. We've got the Doric. Okay, so this is um, fairly plain. And then they're thinking, well, you know, we can make this look a little cooler. Let's do the ionic. And so they did this, what looks like a scroll, okay? And then a little bit later, they're like, well, you know what? I'm feeling very fancy today. Let's, let's design this very um, ornate um, at the top of the column. Uh, and they called it the Corinthian column. And so there's lots of swirls um and leaves on that one so i'm going to show you how to draw each of these columns and then you can see down here that i did kind of i drew what looks like the facade of a normal temple in greece and i could go on and on about all the different um everything has a name um like right here a lot of the times they would depict um, um they would carve out uh, men at war. Uh, anyway, uh, so, and I used the ionic columns here for this. So I would love to have you draw your own temple, but right now we're just going to go through um, how to draw the different columns. So let's start out with the Doric column. Um, I need to get Lucas a straight edge here. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, here, do you want to use the ruler and I'll use these? Okay, because you're going to need a straight edge. Um, I found a ruler, amazingly enough, it was hidden. Um, okay, so for the Doric, the first thing we're going to start out with, and I would use a pencil, by the way. I'm going to use Sharpie just so you could see better. Take your straight edge and do a line about like so. In fact, if you want to do three of these lines, because we're going to be doing three different columns, so it's about the yay size, guys. I'll hold it up. Yeah. So do, the Corinthian is a little bit longer. So when you get to that third top line, go ahead and make that one longer. Um, I'm just getting a head start on those lines. So I'm gonna do this last one just slightly longer. All right, so now let's do a parallel line for the Doric for the top. It's gonna be the same length. You're doing a parallel line, so that means lines across from each other that go on and on and on, they'll never cross. Okay, so now connect both the lines with a vertical, both those horizontal lines with a vertical line. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you're gonna use your straight edge and do two angled lines going in from the bottom. Doop and doop. I will show that closer, okay. And let's connect those two angled lines with a straight line using your straight edge, just like that. Then we're gonna do a teeny tiny line right below it, another parallel horizontal line. Use your straight edge, it's the same length. And then connect with a straight line here and here. Okay. Uh, I'm not, we're not, we don't have to do a long, a long column. I'm just gonna have us do it short. So uh, um, leave a space and then do a, a line, the, a horizontal line, the length of the last one that you just did down below, and then use your straight edge to connect with vertical lines, okay? I love um, learning about ancient civilizations and it's pretty fascinating. So now we wanna look, uh, now we wanna create what looked like divots in our um, columns. So all it is, is you'd go up straight line and then you curve, you don't quite reach the top and you curve and come back just like that. I'm gonna show that to you closer. 
ba, ba, ba. and I do the outer ones now. I come to the side, watch this Lucas, and I just curve and come down and I do it on the other side as well, okay? So we've got three of those divots and then I do uh, one here in between these two and another one in between these two. I'm gonna do the same tactic to make the divots for all of the columns, the other two columns that we do. And there's your simple, what's this type of column called, Lucas? Doric. Doric column. All right, I'll just write Doric on the top. You don't have to do that, but I am going to do that. Okay, let's do the ionic. We need to, um, for the top here, we're gonna do another parallel line, okay? So use your straight edge, and then you're con going to connect with two vertical lines on either side, okay? Just like that. So we wanna do what looks like a scroll, okay? Um, and perhaps, you know what, I should read up a little more, but perhaps maybe you can ask your teacher or research it yourself, when they designed the ionic, and they created the scroll on the top, maybe it was for their library, mm. okay? That's just a thought. Um, we're gonna do what looks like a, a swirl, okay? And we're going to do a spiral line that just goes up like this. And then you're gonna do the same thing the opposite way on the other side. And it just curves up like this, okay? Now you're going to connect the top two lines that you ended with, with a curve down and up, just like that. Oops, can you see? Great. Okay, so now I want to mimic this curve down and up on the bottom, just like that. And now you have your scroll, super easy, right? Mm. You it, Maybe it looked hard, but it's not. I keep blowing that. Okay, so let's do a straight vertical line to connect these two uh, squirrel, uh, squirrels. Squirrels. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, spiral lines, I should say spiral. And Squirrels. then we're gonna go ahead and do two vertical lines down. I start from the bottom of the middle of each of these spiral lines and then do a parallel one on the other side, the same length, and then connect at the bottom. Da, da, da. And I do one more horizontal line right below those spiral lines right here, just like that. Now we wanna create those same divots. Let's start with the center one. I go up, don't quite reach that top, and then I come down. I'm gonna do a curved line down on either side. And then I'm going to, I can fit two more in between each of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. One, two, three, and four. And now we have our, what's it called, Luki? Ionic. Ionic, I'm just gonna write that there, okay? So now comes the fancy scroll. <laughs> so, um, or column, excuse me. For the Corinthian, we want to do a straight yeah. angled line down on either side, the same length, and then connect. And you're going to definitely want to use pencil for this one because we're going to create some fancy things to this. We're going to do a um, horizontal line. We leave a space and it's going to be the same length as, or excuse me, actually a little bit shorter than the one that we just did. So just like that. And then connect with two angled straight lines, just like that. Awesome. Great, Lucas. Okay, so now basically you can um, design it how you want. But what I did is I did a, um, I did a little circle in the center and I did what looked like leaves, one coming out the top and two coming out the sides and that just curves up to a point. 
it's kind of like you're starting a flower really just like that. Now I did two spiral lines on the end, very similar to what we did with the ionic. So I went, I spiraled here and I came up and then I did it the opposite way on the other side. Okay. Again, you can do whatever sort of design you want to, as long as you make it fairly ornate, use leaves, use those spiral lines. I came down with a curve and then came back up and I did that the same on both sides, just like that. Okay. I created width by following those lines on the bottom and then connecting at the top. Look, they look kind of like check marks, yeah? Then I swirled on the inside here. I'm gonna hold that up closer because I know it's a little hard to see when I'm not far away and doing uh, kind of smaller things. Okay, so now what I did is I did a wavy line. I'm kind of making what looks like the top of a cabbage leaf. <laughs> You'll see. And then I curved the edges and then I followed that wavy line to the other side and then curved. Okay. So leave a little of that wavy line we just created on the edge and then do a, a curved line on either side, just like that. And then I'm making leaves. I'm gonna do curve here, curve here, curve here, curve here. Can you see that? Yeah, mm -hmm. nice Lucas. Now, now it's time to do some more straight lines for our column. I'm going to um, do a straight horizontal line at the bottom of my little cabbage leaves. Okay. And then I'm gonna do a very thin a space in between and do that same line below and connect with two vertical lines. Mm -hmm. Do the same thing but shorter underneath, meaning that horizontal line is shorter and then bring those two vertical lines up to close it off. Okay. And now we just need to go ahead and do two um, horizontal lines, or excuse me, vertical lines coming down to create the rest of our column, close it off, and then make those divots. <laughs> Just like that. And this is called what, Lucas? I hope I'm not getting my head in there. Do you um, remember? Corinthian. Yeah, Corinthian. Um, I also uh, put some little more more circles just to make it a little more ornate. Again, this is kind of how you want to do it. But make sure you have some leaves, some uh, spiral lines, that sort of thing. I'll go ahead and write Corinthian. Ta-da! All right, so what I would love to see is I would love to see you choose your favorite wow. column. Don't fall, bud. <laughs> and um, I would love to see you recreate one of the Greek temples, okay? Usually this is a fairly good example of what the facade of a Greek mm -hmm. temple looked like, okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of the times they had, um, the temples were used for religious purposes and there would be a statue of a god like Athena, etc., on the inside. So go for it yeah. and send these to me. I would love to see yeah. them, okay? Hey, I miss you sixth graders. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.